This is a demonstration of how to use an extractor for the efficient collection and sorting of invertebrates from a variety of habitats. The professional form of extractor is the Winkler extractor, which consists of a canvas bag into which you can put smaller bags of litter. Invertebrates fall out of the mesh bags and into the collecting jars at the bottom. These are expensive, but widely used by the expedition people because they conveniently pack flat for transport. I'm going to show you some much simpler and cheaper alternatives. This is the extractor I generally use. It's a stainless steel basket of about a centimetre mesh. I think this one originated in the works skip and was originally an autoclave basket. But there are many other simple things you can improvise, as I'll show you shortly. You also need a bucket. I have this one. It's convenient as the basket sits about halfway down in it without any support. It's also a good idea to have a lid of some sort to prevent escapes. This is a large half plant pot which stops most things flying about even though it has some holes. I generally run this extractor here in my utility room. In winter it's too cold to use an extractor outside anyway as many invertebrates aren't active enough. You do get some flying insects escaping, but I solve this by allowing a similar number of spiders to escape. My wife doesn't approve of this method. You won't, of course, have these exact things to hand. The easiest way to improvise this setup is to get a chip basket and a bucket. These are £1.50 from Wilco, and the bucket is a pound from anywhere. Some chip baskets have hooks on the end, which is very convenient for hanging them over a bucket. But these particular ones don't, so we just need to stick a piece of wire or dowel or something through the mesh to hold it up. Then that goes in, then we have a sheet of plastic to act as a lid. Right, so we need something to extract. Here I am at one of my favourite woodchip heaps in the car park at Marbury Park. This heap was teeming with stuff a few months ago, so it should be good for a demo. It's been here for nearly two years, or they keep adding to it. It's a big heap. I generally find the best areas are drier, fairly new, and have lots of fungal hyphae running through. The older stuff is starting to break down into soil and isn't so productive. We just shovel it into a sieve like this and work it through for a while, then bag up the sievings. You could search it at this stage, but that uses field time and often misses the smaller, rarer and more cryptic stuff, which of course is what you want to find. Anyway, it's threatening to rain, so the quicker we can work, the better. I've bagged about a litre of sievings. It's not so active as earlier in the year. I only saw about two or three obvious beetles in each tray, but the extractor should hopefully find a lot more. If you're going to bag litter like this, you need to keep it cool if you can't process it on the same day, or the insects will asphyxiate. You can bag it in porous bags, like these Sainsbury's vegetable bags, Although they're harder to close and really tiny stuff can escape, I keep my stuff in the bottom of the fridge and try to process it before my wife sees it. Right, let's get started. Put the basket in the tray, get your bag of litter, pour it into the basket, shake it out. Now we'll just smooth it up the sides a bit so it's close to the mesh. About two to three inches deep is ideal. I'm not going to fill this completely. Now we'll just shake the basket to get the loose stuff off and put it in the bucket. Anything that's fallen through gets tipped onto the top. Now the lid just goes on like that. And it's job done. Now we've waited about 20 minutes. Usually I leave an extractor for around a day or longer if I have time, but a lot of very active stuff comes through very fast. If you don't look at it quickly at first, you can be a bit overwhelmed. The idea is to take samples of a size that's suitable for sorting under a microscope, which means waiting till about 50 mils has come through. You just tip it into a deep petri dish like this, give it a tap to dislodge any insects clinging to the sides, and have a lid that we can place over it and nothing escapes. Now we can reassemble the extractor so that the more sluggish insects can make their way down over the subsequent hours. And we'll have a look to see what we've got.